And the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This will be taken in at the 1. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And Charles, if the season ended today, it's not going to. We still have December yeah, left. We're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team. And that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also isn't much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, well, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs, so they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. They have the first down with that gain of four yards. From the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Defensively here, you're facing a top-five team in terms of points scored in the NFL, so when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20 because, to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored, give yourself, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. Now a throw for the left sideline, and he's got it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards there and a first down for Seattle. First down. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me. The pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. DeForest Buckner with a sack, the former number seven overall pick. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Wilson, eluding the pressure right. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Jack Whiskey Tart. And he returns it into enemy territory down to the 45 yard line. On first down, here's Breida. And some room to roam now. Pass the truck down the numbers. There he goes. Touchdown, 49ers. Matt Breida with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. Here the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Gold to add the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post, because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. D4 in there to get him, and on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. This offensive line has struggled. In fact, when we sat down with the coach, he said, it's been in tatters lately. They allowed six sacks in their last game. Just gave up another one right there. In tatters, so it sounds a little bit like this right now. Exactly. It's like that paper being ripped. And right now, they've got to find a way to get it back together. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Another dangerous throw there, partner. I mean, he's already thrown two interceptions here in the first half. I don't know if you want to keep throwing up 50-50 balls and you've had that kind of lack of success. Yeah, absolutely. Very well could have been a third interception in half number one. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Flush to his right. 
That's into the hands of his tight end, Will Disley. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Give him 32 on the play. Now that one hurts defensively. They force him into third and long, what have the advantage, mean? yet they give up the big play right there. Yeah, their offense was already warming up on the sideline, ready to come out. So much for that three and out. And Wilson's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by the safety, Jarkwiski Tart. And they will score. It's a 49er touchdown. Partner, what we just saw, that's a great example of a team that was really amped up. They've been playing so well, yet they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense and gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead has swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. This will be taken in at the one. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Now Wilson to throw again. And going deep for Hill. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Tyreek Hill with his 16th touchdown of the year as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Well, since we don't have a rooting interest in this one, neither one of us wanted to see this one get out of hand too early. Here we are in the first quarter. That was an important response for them to score already down 21. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Here we go. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. On second down, a run with Brita. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. The tally there. There, minus two yards brings up third down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 11, 11, like 20. Oh, here we go. Oh. Mike nine, Mike nine. I got him, I got him. Mike nine, Mike nine. 12, fellas, here we go. Hey, gun, gun, man. Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. 21, 21. They'll run with Coleman on first down. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Throwing on second down. Garoppolo flushed out right. Stepping up. He'll try and run. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. A gain of two brings up third and nine. Mike. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 180! Two, two! From midfield, here's Garoppolo. And Garrett Selleck here on the completion. First target, first catch, and a first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. Garoppolo gives to Breda. And an alley to run. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. 
Matt Breida with his second touchdown here in this first half. Here the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Gold able to tack on the extra point and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. They start with a give to counter. And an alley to run. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a gain of 12 first down Seahawks. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Go, go, go. got double tight. Double tight. Right back to Connor here on first. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. It's a gain of 12 first down Seahawks. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. On first and 10 is counter. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Watch the run. Watch the run. Now it's Wilson. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. D Ford has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. Wilson and the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. It's Hill complete. 20, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. Tyreek Hill. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Seahawks are able to close the gap just a bit. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that cuts the lead to 28-14. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple of extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Here we go, here we go. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touch. And nothing but daylight ahead. The 20. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Matt Breida on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Gold with the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Right there. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They trail here by 24 points. Got to get going soon, you'd have to think, as they come up first and 10. Here's Connor on first down going nowhere as he's going to be stacked up behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Yeah, that was the safety that came through and made the play, but there's no doubt in my mind, he hits like a linebacker. We see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. It's a gain of 15. First down, Seahawks. Out of the gun. Here's Wilson. And going deep for Hill. And that is caught. One-handed. Oh, my. He pulled it in. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Tyreek Hill. On his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Seahawks are able to cut into that deficit. 
Myers connects on the PAT. And that will shave one more off this lead. This will be taken in at the one. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now. We'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. And on the stop, it was the UCF product, Shaquem Griffin. Matt Breed out of Georgia Southern now in his third year in a 49er uniform. He was tough to keep off the field last year. Very good yards per carry. 5.3 on 153 attempts. Good for over 800 yards rushing. Seven yards there and a first down. They'll run on first down. Coleman. In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now it's Breda. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout. And with half time on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. On third down, a run from Breda. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. As the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Quandre Diggs. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. After the interception, here's Wilson. He finds his target, Beckham. And they'll get him down up past the 15. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Here's Jonathan Coachman. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. Let's go, let's go. Here we go, here we go, the here San go. Francisco hey. offense ready to start their next drive. They had a big on, first on. half. Now they have a chance to add to that lead here in the opening possession of the second half. And everyone always asks about halftime adjustments, kind of the key phrase. What did you do at halftime? Well, the way they ran offense in the first half, I think they were very calm, congratulatory. But also what they were saying is don't expect them to be the same on defense. They'll be the ones making the adjustment. And he's into the clean. The 30, past the 20, and across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Matt Breida, 70 yards, and the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. 
After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Now it's Connor. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. On second down, Connor looking for space. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. And now the 49ers signal for a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. From the gun, it's Wilson. They complete it to Hill. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Seahawks are able to close the gap just a bit. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that will get him one closer. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here we go, here we go. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. Now, what are the counters to that, right? You don't just run the same thing. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Matt Breida, 75 yards. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Gold with the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This is taken at his four. The Seahawks get go, go, go. first down go. at their own 18-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Coming, baby. I'm coming, baby. Wilson. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And that's caught inside the 35. Odell Beckham Jr. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Odell Beckham, 79 yards. And the Seahawks are able to cut into that deficit. Myers connects on the PAT. And that will shave one more off this lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Here we go, here we go. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time jaunt. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play action pass could very well be open. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. 
They stay on the ground. Again, it's Breedham. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. A good pick up there, seven yards, but it brings up fourth down. Here comes the 49ers punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. Yeah, that's a 48-yard punt with the coverage holding him to three on the return. And it'll be Seahawk football first and ten. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They come in off a touchdown drive the last time they had the ball to cut down that lead. Now the defense has done their part, got them the football back. Momentum started to shift a little bit when they scored the touchdown. It increased when the defense got them the ball back. Momentum definitely in their favor, and they got to keep things cranking, keep it on high so they can keep cutting into that lead. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to take off with it, and he'll have a gain of three to the 33. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. Looking to throw again on second down. Wilson eluding the pressure right. Now he'll pull it down. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. Going on the ground with Homer. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. The way things have gone in this one, the running game's been something of an afterthought, and that's not been too bad for them, has it? Yeah, the offensive returns have been good, but I guess we figured he and the ground game would be a bit more involved. On second and nine, Wilson being chased out left. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Sometimes guys get locked into such a groove. What do we call it? The game's slowing down. They see everything happening almost in slow motion. They see the lanes develop. I feel like he's right there. Well, and you want this from your leader, right? With this deficit, this stage of the game, second half, no quit in him. Zero. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. Throwing again on second and ten. Wilson. And his throw here is incomplete. Akello Witherspoon, really good coverage from the Colorado man, getting a hand in on it. I think that's a big-time play there because the slant route is really hard to cover because the timing is so quick. But able to see it, diagnose it, and get to the football, that's why he's able to bat it away. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 34-yard line. Wilson now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. Flush to his right. He'll run it. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Here's Wilson throwing again. Flushed out right. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're speaking a stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. And that is a scoop duck by the 49ers. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Here we go, here we go, here we go. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Now second and seven from the 23. They run again with Burita. 
Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave them with a third and about five. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. They run with Breda, and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. So from the 36 now, first and 10. This is Breda. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Finally, defensively, they have a little clip to show positive for actually stopping him running the football. It's been a really long night for them, hasn't it? So they got a little bit of a win there, but let's face it. The vision that he's had running the football has carried his feet to the open spaces and to big yardage all night long. On second and 11 now, Garoppolo. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. Defensively, they're okay with that. Short little route, tackle him inbounds. Okay. All right, cliche alert. It's time for someone to make a play because they've got to have something bigger downfield. They can't just take what they give them. They've got to force it and make something big happen for them. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Uh, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Garoppolo going to hand this one to Coleman. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Here's Breda. And an alley to run. And across the chalk into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Matt Breda, 31 yards. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Gold able to tack on the extra point and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They're down big here late. I don't know, you just one last drive here for five. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to play, as they continue. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by Jason Barrett. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. They'll start on the ground with Breda. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a second and 11. Escaping the pressure right. Deep ball for Goodwin. He rifles one that's intercepted. Trey Flowers picks it. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open. Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. That one complete to Hill. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Tyreek Hill 
with touchdown number 20 on the year. And the interception by the Seahawks. D leads to a touchdown. So now a two-point conversion attempt coming for Wilson and the Seahawks. From the shotgun, Wilson to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite, but in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all that exit, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Defensively, there's still three timeouts. Do you even need to use them at this point? I think a lot of coaches do it anyway, and it seems like cosmetics to us. Does it just send a message? And a big loss here as he's taken down. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Niners, the win will help them keep pace in the playoff race as they move to 6-3 and three on the year. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for Seattle, it's a bit of a setback as they drop to 6-4 and four now. And they'll get a late bye next week, which might be coming at the right time. And they'll be back in action in week.